Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something cool to show you. This is the brand new for 2022. Uh, blah, blah, blah. My brain's super foggy, sorry. Rotten Patch Flaming Jack Lantern from Home Depot. This is by Seasonal Visions. And yes, I did say that, Seasonal Visions. And I was seeing this flame light in it, you would think that it would be techie. And no, this is 100,000% Seasonal Visions. And if you want to know how to tell which company makes these pumpkins, I will show you real quick. So if you look at, if you have these tags, right? Flip them around. You look at the model number, if I can get my phone to focus. So it says 22, it says 22 SV. See that right there? You know, it's kind of fuzzy because my phone doesn't like me. So that SV, that does stand for Seasonal Visions. I know there's going to be some that's going to be like, uh, no, SVI for Seasonal Visions. Home Depot, uh, they give all of their companies two letters. Seasonal Visions is SV. Pan Nations is PA. Techie is TT. And Jimmy is GM. So this is Seasonal Vision. So there's also a sticker on the bottom. Same number, same letters. So this is by Seasonal Visions. So this is the first time I've seen Seasonal Visions do a flame light like this with the rotating motor. And it does have that you can actually see it through the plastic. Plastic is just a little bit too thin. Uh, and it lo actually looks pretty good on this particular item. I know when we all first saw, we all thought it was going to be techy. So I am very surprised to see that this is Seasonal Visions. It is pretty big. I want to say it might be a little more than 12 inches. If not, just at 12 inches. But, it, I mean, it's a fairly large item. And it is another one of the rotten, you know pumpkins this one being a little more realistic than a lot of the ones we've seen as it's a lot more wrinkly and like the like the teeth in the mouth that you can see were kind of carved into it have curled in you know like you like you see on a rotten jack-o-lantern and the face is sort of sagging and the head starting to just slump over and it looks like it's starting to deflate on the bottom it's what you would definitely see on jack-o-lantern you know it's got a lot of very exaggerated wrinkles all along it especially on the face but it's very lumpy and bumpy it also has a, it also has a usb-c port back here so if you don't want it to be on running on batteries you can actually have it plugged in which is really nifty it's also one of the first ones i've seen where it made it look like it had been actually carved and had like the top carved off and I thought that was a really <clears throat> really clever detail that Seasonal Visions added on, on this. I don't really see that so I really thought that that was smart. Um, also if I sound really terrible I am sorry. I am literally just getting over a pretty bad fever so <clears throat> I still feel like crap. But I have like a whole bunch of stuff coming in today and I'm either going to film them all or I'm going to film a couple of them today and some over the weekend. I don't know yet, but I feel like shit. <laughs> so I had like a fever 101 yesterday. So if I sound terrible, I apologize. I'm just trying to get up on my feet today. So that's why. Um, I like just how kind of derpy the face is. I'm assuming it's really just like that so they can get that very warped and rotten feel, which I think was pulled off very well on this particular item. I like it, honestly. I'm going to have this with my little section of the rotten pumpkins, my techie ones, because I think it's going to look really good with them. My um, pumpkin patch this year is humongous, right? And I have like technically two different parts and I have one where I have a little bundle of 
the techie ones, like the small ones, and then the smiling one. And I think I'm going to put this with them because I think he looks really cool. And I want to have some versatility with them. So I think that's where he's going to go. I also really like how the, um, the motor or like the mechanism is making this like popping sound where it sounds like fire. So if you listen. I don't know how well that picks up on camera. And it's not a speaker. That is just the sound it makes. And I, I like that. I do not believe this has a timer function, which I feel like they should have. But, I mean, nonetheless, I think it's still pretty dope. This is going for $20 online. I don't know. I think it's a little more in stores, but you can price match them. So, I mean, that's something really cool that Home Depot does. I think 20 bucks is really good. Now, obviously, I had to order this from Mercari because my Home Depot has nothing. So, I paid a lot more because I really wanted the new pumpkins for this year. And I thought they were all super cool and super neat. This is, like, one of my favorites. I mean, I really, I think I'm going to say this with all of them because I like all of the new pumpkins. Like, I like them all. I think they were all super cool and super neat. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I like them all quite a bit this year. Um, if you can find one for a really good price or if you can find one at your local Home Depot, I would go for it. I think with it also having a USB-C, I think it's what it's called, a port where you can actually have it plugged in is really cool. Though I would not recommend that for an outdoor display. Um, I think it will be just fine with some good batteries. Um, I do think it is, uh, I do think it's a really cool must have for any like spooky pumpkin patch display, which is what I'm using it for, especially since October 1st, the night of October 1st, I'm going to have all, all of my flaming pumpkins on to officially kick off the Halloween season and this will be one of them because they're all just so cool anyway I hope you all enjoy this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys